In the past few hours, a blog post has gone viral confirming that JP Morgan will take XRP for mortgage and credit card payments. It also says that you can now pay your bills with XRP and get cash back using the XRP ledger system, the crypto trading fund, and the CTF coin. But what they don't tell you is that there is a buying going on behind the scenes, which is a huge trick. The truth is that they want to steal your XRP. Not letting stores buy them in would basically raise the price afterward to maybe even over $319.17, as a well-known expert confirmed. For example, trade in XRP and Bitcoin around the world has stopped. Not only that, but trading on the stock exchange has also stopped. Everything is collapsing, so your assets are the most important thing you should hold on to. Banks and investment firms like JP Morgan and BlackRock want you to give them all of your assets, even though your cash isn't worth much. So they want to take your investments instead of your fiat money, which is paper money. And Mr. Mann makes this point very clear by saying, this is the best example of an asset grab I've ever seen. Since it's not money, I wouldn't spend as much of it. I was going to use my secured assets to get a loan and pay off my home and credit card debt. This lets me keep my property. But they want you to give them your valuable assets in trade for fiat cash. This way, when they decide to replace the old financial system with the new one, they won't let you buy any more XRP. This is where the value of XRP could really go through the roof, reaching $10,000 or $12,000. That which we call the black swan event is happening right now. They limit retail, they lock you out of your XRP, and they automatically sell it. You claim any amount of money you have, whether it's $1,000, $10,000, or $100,000. Your XRP goes through the roof, but you no longer have any of it, and only institutions own it. When people were for sold, they did the same thing with gold back then. They basically just took their gold and said, we'll buy it for $42, whether you like it or not. We can see this happening right now. JP Morgan shocked the cryptocurrency community by announcing in public that they accept XRP for credit cards and mortgages. They also said that they are moving toward using XRP for both internal and cross-border payments, and that all of their banks, including Chase Bank, will also use it. This is something that JP Morgan has been saying for a while. Back on November 20th, 2021, they made it public that JP Morgan had confirmed a possible use case for XRP. They said that XRP is set to become widely used, and that the price will rise to represent that. Not long after that, Ripple basically finished when XRP was declared not to be a security, and it has only been going up since then. Indeed, this is the main reason why XRP is currently where it is, showing signs of being likely to reach highs of $319.17 very soon. Now, we'll delve right into the content, which will include all the specifics of the possible buyback that is about to happen. That being said, we need to tell you about the huge XRP giveaway we're having when we reach 25,000 members. You guys were going to have one of the biggest giveaways on this channel. To enter, all you have to do is hit like subscribe with your personal alerts and share this video. If you want XRP to go back up and over one, press the like button. That being said, let's watch the movie right away. There is more to come because the US Federal Reserve is going to spend $68 billion to buy back cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and XRP. At this point in history, both the US Federal Reserve and the US Treasury are moving toward XRP. We also recently heard that Ripple Labs and the US Treasury have made a partnership worth more than $10 million. As part of this partnership, Ripple will treasurize US bonds. So that's a huge win for XRP. And it also means that banks like JP Morgan aren't the only ones trying to make a killing in retail. This is happening all over the world. It wouldn't make sense for retail users to be included because so many states and central banks are trying to use XRP. They don't want retail users to get rich. In fact, having a lot of stores is a big bad thing. They want to take back your XRP, which means they want to force you to sell it. That is, even if it costs them more. As long as they know that XRP has a value of at least $10,000 or $20,000 in the future, it doesn't matter to them if it's worth $10 or $20 or $20 as of right now. Google even says that the Federal Reserve wants to buy XRP to use as a way to pay for things around the world. Ripple is also said to be buying back XRP as part of a plan to move it from individual users to institutions. This comes after JP Morgan announced that they would accept XRP as payment and use the XRP ledger cashback system through the crypto trading fund and the CTF coin. That being said, I do think you should look into the CTF coin. We are going to talk more about the XRP ledger return system that is run by the crypto trading fund in a moment. But as you can see on Google, the Federal Reserve does plan to buy Ripple XRP and use it as a world payment system. Is Ripple, however, buying back XRP? They are. Yes, Ripple is buying back XRP as part of their buyback scheme. This is done so that institutions can own it instead of people in the region. I think this is something we've seen before. 
Ripple said in public that they had already bought $8.4 billion worth of XRP from the market to make it healthy. So it is clearly happening. The XRP buyback is happening, and this time it's for real. We always tell people to move their XRP to a cold wallet because you never know what these companies might do. One morning you might wake up and find that your XRP was sold. And finally, let's talk about $319.17 per XRP in the crypto trading fund system that lets you get your money back. You should look into it if you haven't already. With the Crypto Trading Fund's new blockchain passive income reward system, you can get your money back on the XRP ledger. Actually, this is one of the few tokens that is in the black while the rest of the market is in the red and falling apart. But if they want to know more about that, they have a lot of very, very hopeful uses for this token. One reason I chose to invest in the CTF token after doing my study is because of this. Very positive, very little supply, and a huge demand. This is useful in real life. We're talking about a framework that is run by the community your rewards will work for you and make you money through blockchain sales. It's also on the XRP ledger in the Polygon chain, and they're giving away free CTF rewards tokens to people who own XRP or Matic since they announced that the main prize issuing framework is now live. Truly, all you have to do is tweet them directly and let them know you found them through the CryptoGeek channel. On top of all that, I did claim my CTF awards, but I had already done that, and I also chose to dollar cast average. I'm still getting more CTF tokens. Now that the price has dropped, I think it's a great time to buy all coins. It's now beginning to get better. Now that we know this is where the low point was, when Bitcoin hit only 50,000, it is going back up and is about to hit 56,000, which means now is the time for me to gather. As I said before, I'm not a financial expert. I'm just telling you what I do. It's not financial help. And she's always doing research, but I'm collecting, and I mean collecting XRP, CTF, and anything else I can get my hands on right now that has value. And it looks like CTF is recovering very well. It's gone up 16% in the last 24 hours, as you can see. It's also clear that the market has only just begun to recover. Because of this, I can only guess what it will be. Over the next few hours, the price could go up by up to 300% as the market continues to recover and Bitcoin moves closer to going back up in over $60,000. One more interesting thing about the crypto trading fund is that there are only 120 million tokens available, and they aren't even listed on any centralized markets yet. It's important to remember that this is still very early because they are an important part of the XRP record in the Matic chain. Like I said, I think it's still very early. It's only just started. The price rise hasn't even begun yet. And it's all about the steps of building. If you remember the last time we talked about the crypto trading fund, it was still very new, even more so than now. The CTF token was worth maybe less than a penny. After that, it went through the roof. We can see that huge rise. As you can see, we named them breakout patterns. As you can see, we said it would go up here. All of this is based on plots used for technical analysis. You already know that we're not always right. RTA is what really tells us what our guesses are. But I think things are going to go in the wrong direction right now. Right now, I am going through what looks like a triangle breaking pattern. We should then break back up into the green from there. The value of the CT ticket could go up by 100 to 200% which is not a big surprise. We've actually seen this happen a lot with this ticket because its supply changes all the time and a huge number of people want it. It is important to know that this is where the promise is because it is growing and JP Morgan has officially recognized it as working with the XRP ledger and the Batic chain. When you look at things like a 10,000 X token or a 100,000 X token, there is possibility because the holders are so small, only about 3,000 of them. In order to give you an idea, XRP has seven to eight million users. CTF is only about 3,000. In assembly changes, it's not illegal, but there is a very small quantity. These are all things I think about, and most importantly, it's a coin that can be used for things. Taking all of this into account, I see promise. That's why I'm in CTF ticket.